today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different workout. It won't be the music. It's more of a seated workout uh, where we're working out kind of our motor skills, our minds, uh, and keeping ourselves moving even when we can't get outside. So here at my house, I actually don't have any balls with me. I wasn't able to take them from the gym before we left school. So my recommendation is if you're like me and you don't have a ball at home or something that you could be playing with inside the house, ask whoever the adult is at home if you can use a roll of toilet paper. Now, don't take the toilet paper off the roll in the bathroom, okay? You wanna use a brand new one that hasn't been used yet, all right? You're gonna grab that roll of toilet paper and first we're gonna start, we're gonna put it in between our hands. Like I said, if you have a ball, that's fine too. But we're going to take that toilet paper roll or that ball and bring it right up to our chest. Bring those elbows wide. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Go ahead, bring it up over your head. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, what we're doing right now, bring it back down to your chest, is just getting, the use, getting used to the feeling of having something like this in our hands. Okay, we're getting our bodies warmed up, we're getting our minds warmed up, we're getting our hands warmed up. And then go ahead, bring it up over your head one more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze overhead. Getting those muscles ready, activating them. All right, go ahead, bring it down in between your legs. Make sure that you are sitting crisscross applesauce for this activity. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna practice tossing it up and down to ourselves right in front of our face. The idea is that you don't wanna throw the, the ball or whatever it is that you're using out in front of you, but rather straight up in the hair, air. If you lean back too far, it's gonna go back behind you. And if you lean forward, it's gonna go way too far away in front. So just go ahead, try tossing it up, two hands, same time, right out in front of your face and then back down. Tossing it up and catching it. Awesome. All right. If you want to keep practicing that one, go ahead, pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to move on. So now I'd like for you to try doing that same tossing and catching movement, but with just one hand, okay? So you're going to toss it right up overhead and catch with two. Toss it right up, catch with two. The hand you should start with is the hand that you write with. Toss it up, catch with two. Toss it up, catch with two. Toss it up, catch with two. Excellent. All right, if you're ready, we're gonna move on to the hand that you don't write with. That's called your non-dominant hand. Go ahead, take that non-dominant hand, toss it up, catch with two. Notice when I'm catching, I'm not pushing into the ball or the roll, okay? I'm catching it and cradling it into my legs, into my belly, absorbing the catch. All right, toss it up, bring it back in. Toss it up, bring it back in. Awesome. All right. Here's your challenge. I'd like for you to start with the toilet paper roll or the ball and one hand, opposite hand is empty. You're gonna practice tossing it over your head right to the other side. It's still staying in front of your face, watching it into the opposite hand. You have to be nice and gentle because if I hurl it over my head, I'm not gonna be able to catch it way out here, okay? So keeping it right in front of my body, seeing it into the opposite hand. Awesome. If you drop it, go ahead, pick it up, start again. All right. All right, squad, absolute last one that we're gonna do today. Your challenge, and I'd love to see a post underneath to let me know how many you can do. You're gonna to toss the toilet paper roll up in the air or the ball, whatever it is you have, and clap once, okay? So you toss it up, clap, and catch it. Then you're gonna add a second clap. So you toss it up and catch it. Third time, toss it up, three, with a catch. Your challenge is to see how many claps you can get in before you catch it. If you're able to go outside, awesome. Go ahead, toss it up as high as you can and see how many claps you can get in. If not, no big deal.
stay sitting down so you're not tossing whatever you have too high and see how many you can get in a row. I would, like I said, I'd love to see in the comments what your top score is. I'll let you know that my top score seated in my house is only eight, but I'm working on it. All right, thanks so much Wilkins. Can't wait to see you. Keep checking back for more Wilkins workouts with Coach B.